what does the fight look like now? What what do we need to actually succeed? I think you you painted two scenarios. One, we there's a there's a pathway to victory, and the other there's a pathway to failure. And I guess we're at a crossroads now. What does the pathway to victory look like, and what's it going to demand of our forces? There have always been, in my view, a, a fairly discreet set of tasks that have to be accomplished in order to set conditions for success in Afghanistan. Among those were clearing the enemy out of Kandahar and Helmand, but also clearing enemy sanctuaries and safe havens, and support nodes in eastern Afghanistan. Unfortunately, when President Obama sent the surge forces to Afghanistan, as is well known, he sent fewer than were requested by the command and he imposed a artificial timeline on their presence that had not been recommended by the command. As a result of that, it doesn't make success in the East impossible, but it has protracted the campaign because we have fewer forces but the same set of tasks that we have to accomplish. So there are still Taliban safe havens in the East, um, even in the south of Kabul area, particularly in the south of Kabul area, that have to be dealt with. Uh, our forces are getting after that right now. Um, but they've had to do that in the context of losing the 33,000 surge forces. And by the way, getting 33,000 troops out of Afghanistan is in itself an enormous undertaking that occupied and distracted uh, a lot of attention from the fighting. So there are tasks that need to be accomplished. I am encouraged to see that our forces on the ground are still focused on getting those tasks accomplished and that the Afghan security forces actually, even in the East where they haven't received as much attention from our forces, are getting much better and are being much more aggressive and are taking responsibility for the security challenges much more. Um, I don't want to oversell it. I personally think we're on a knife's edge and I think that we're so close to the line in terms both of troop numbers and in terms of all of the political things that need to happen, and this has always been an area in which our policy has been lacking, um, but also in terms of the confidence that everyone involved has that the United States actually will stay and see this through, that it, it could go either way. It's very close. So the good news story would look a lot like what's already happened in Kandahar, which is that the Afghans put in a good showing. We work... Uh, behind the scenes, supporting them when needed in much smaller numbers. They turn on and kick out the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, and uh, and we can successfully pull down the vast mass of our forces. And you think that'll take till about the end of 2014? I think that if we can remain at about the current force level that we are at now post-surge uh, through most of 2014, and if fortune favors us, because it is war and it's unpredictable, but if fortune favors us and we have good policies, I think it's reasonable to expect that we will be able to accomplish this within that time frame.